Hey, I'm Daniel. And I'm Haley. And, and this, this is Yellowknock. <laughs> Around 1,200 kilometres north of Calgary, on the shores of the Great Slave Lake, lies Yellowknife, the capital of the Northwest Territories. Famous for ice pilots, frigid temperatures and aurora borealis, it is home to around 20,000 people and records temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. The minute we stepped off the plane, we were filled with excitement, surrounded by land of snow and ice. Like a real-life snow globe filled with glitter, the air sparkled with little pieces of ice catching the light. Literally everything around us was frozen, including the very air we breathed, and we could definitely feel it as it entered our lungs. The air was not the only thing taking our breath away. As we looked around, absorbing the beauty these extremes bring, we couldn't help but realise how far from home we truly were. and I'm standing on the Great Slave Lake which is one of the biggest lakes in the world. Um, it's currently about minus 20 and today's the 16th of December so it's still early winter. Apparently this is actually quite warm for this time of year but for good old Australian people like us it's freezing cold um, and yeah it's awesome I'm standing on the lake right now it's completely frozen like well it's frozen about a meter thick so it's pretty thick um, as you can see, there's some boats that have been frozen into the lake. Um, there's some uh, boat houses as well, so people live out here. People do ice fishing and lots of cool winter recreation, which is awesome. And I have to say that this is the driest snow I've ever seen in my life. I'll pick it up and show you. It's just absolute powder. There's like no wetness to it at all. You can't make a snowball, you can't build a snowman but it's really fun to play in, it's just so soft. So this is Yellow Knife, it's awesome, love it. Come and check it out. An essential stop is the Heritage Centre, where the history and culture of the area is on show. Of particular note is the amazingly realistic display of the wildlife native to these parts. When you're looking for something to eat, you can't go past Bullock's Bistro. This is a unique slice of yellow knife where the walls literally talk. The fish and chips is a must and the hospitality is second to none. If you can find a spot, don't forget to grab a pen and leave your mark. It's a little bit of yellow knife history you can call your own. Living in a place like Yellowknife comes with its challenges, with the cold being its greatest. Before spending any long period of time outside, we needed to ensure we were dressed appropriately. With the temperatures dropping to minus 30 degrees, we had to wear four layers of clothes, with the outermost comprised of Canada Goose Arctic jackets, down coveralls, and extreme cold weather boots. Needless to say, it was a mission trying to put this stuff on. Oh, 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 oh. 
Now ready to brave the cold, we set out with Greg and his snow bear for some ice fishing on the Great Slave Lake. <laughs> Once we arrived at our location, he used an auger to drill through over a metre of solid ice and we needed to continue scooping the freezing water out of the holes to prevent them from icing over. When all was said and done, we reversed the snow bear over the holes and settled down in the warm cab to catch some fish. So apparently the fish weren't too interested in our bait that day, but the camera certainly caught their eye. We're at Aurora hunting with North Star Adventures. Uh, the reason why it looks so red is we're actually using a red light just so that we don't ruin our night vision. It just gives us the best display of Aurora. Uh, we've just had wonderful three days. We've um, been very lucky to see some amazing Aurora displays. So definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Ticked off the bucket list.